We have seen three people seriously injured by beanbag rounds during recent protests in La Mesa. What exactly are they and should police be using them at all? As News 8's David Godfordson reports, they may be called beanbag rounds, but they're more closely related to shotgun shells. Less lethal. This is the way beanbag projectiles are supposed to be used. Police in Grand Rapids, Michigan, shoot a suicidal woman in the legs with beanbag rounds. She falls and is arrested. But during the La Mesa protests, we saw a grandmother get shot in the head with a beanbag round. Leslie Furcron is still in the hospital with serious injuries. Police Chief Walt Vasquez says the La Mesa police officer who shot Furcron was aiming at her body, not her head. The initial aim was towards the torso area, as, as trained. Furcron's attorney says officers should not be firing beanbag rounds indiscriminately into a crowd. These are projectiles being fired at hundreds of feet per second. Now, when they fire that above the waist, even in their use of force manual, that manual tells you above the waist turns yellow, which is a harder hit, and then red, which is potentially fatal. This is one of the beanbag rounds found at the scene in La Mesa, and it is not filled with beans. It's a cloth sack filled with lead shotgun pellets about two millimeters in diameter. Yeah, so that would be number nine lead shot. That's very typical. We asked El Cajon gun store owner David Chong about aiming a beanbag round. You don't aim for someone's head per se, certainly not on purpose, and 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 you couldn't even if you tried, it, it, it veers off course because of its very nature. Think of it as a hacky sack flying through the air. It, it doesn't fly like an arrow. Add to those ballistics the atmosphere of a riot and you can see how someone might get hit in the head. If less than lethal projectiles such as beanbags were shot from the balcony of the police headquarters down into the crowd as a deterrent, unfortunately that would put people's upper body and including the head in the flight path of the projectile and, and a, a head could have accidentally been hit. We got word late this afternoon there is a new effort in the state legislature to put restrictions on police use of rubber bullets. But those projectiles are different than the beanbags that were used in La Mesa. Carlo? David, I guess everybody would like to know, how's Leslie Furcron doing right now? That was a horrible, horrible incident. Very good news from her son this afternoon. She is off the ventilator and able to speak. And there's hope that she'll be out of the ICU by this evening. And the family has raised $150,000 on its GoFundMe page. All right, good to hear she's recovering. Thanks, David.